Hi students. This week is an important week. This week we're learning about Orange Shirt Day. Orange Shirt Day is on September 30th. Today I want to teach you a little bit about plants. Plants are teachers. Native people know this. We don't know this. Mr. Steele thinks he's a teacher. But Mr. Steele has a job as a teacher, but he's not a real teacher. Plants are teachers. <laughs> You'll see. These are important plants. These are several, many plants. Today we will learn four plants. We will learn about sweet grass. We will learn about tobacco. We will learn about sage. And we will learn about cedar. These are sacred plants plants. That means that they are special. That means that they are holy. That means that they are very, very, very important plants. These plants are teachers. They teach us. We can talk to them. They can talk to us. We can learn from them. If we listen to them, they will show us how to live better they don't just show us math. They don't just show us how to speak English. They show us how to live. They are very important teachers. These plants, native people use these plants, these plant teachers, these sacred plants to clean their hearts. They clean their hearts and they clean their minds and they help to be connected. The plants teach them mitakwiasi, that they are connected, that they are related to everyone and everything. The plants help them be connected. And they help them feel all their relations, all our relations. Do you remember this from last time? Yes, this is a medicine wheel. Medicine wheels show the directions we learned last time. They show the circle of life, but they show many, many other things besides that. Medicine wheel also talks about the four main sacred plants. There's sweet grass, tobacco, cedar, and sage. These are the four medicines that native people hold very close to their heart. What is she doing? She's washing her hands. She's cleaning her hands. She's cleaning her body. Maybe she will clean her face. This is how we wash our body. But these plants wash our hearts. They wash our minds. They wash our feelings and our thoughts. They purify them. When our hearts and minds are cleaned, we say they are purified. When my heart is clean, I am purified. When her mind is clean, she is purified. When their hearts and minds are clean, they are purified. See? Indigenous people purify their hearts and minds with prayer. With prayer. Maybe you do this too in your culture. Sacred plant teachers help them to pray and feel all their relations. The plants are teachers. They help them to pray and to feel connected to all their relations, to all the plants, to all the animals, to all the people, to the stars, to the wind to the trees, to the oceans, to the planet, to, to, to God, or Wakantanka. What's this? This is one of the plant medicines. First, this is tobacco. I grow this tobacco in my backyard. Tobacco is sacred. Tobacco is sacred. It means it's special. It means it's holy. It means it's very, very, very important. It's like your prayers. 
It's like the mosque or the temple or the church. It's it's uh, like the cross. It's like so. It's like religion. It's like spirit. Tobacco is sacred. Tobacco. This is a tobacco plant, but when native people say tobacco, they can mean many plants. Sometimes, when they say tobacco, they are speaking of bearberries. These are called bearberries because who eats them? Bears. <clears throat> if you try to eat them, ugh, they're really gross. This is red willow. The red willow has bark. This is the skin on the tree. When you peel it off, that's the bark. The red willow bark. So tobacco, sometimes when native people speak of tobacco, they speak of bear berries. Sometimes they speak of red willow bark too. Indigenous people used tobacco for thousands of years, for a long, long, long time. Tobacco is for praying. Native people use tobacco for praying. Very important. Tobacco is very important. Here's a tobacco plant. See the flowers on the top? Here's some tobacco in my backyard. This is the tobacco that I harvested from my garden. <laughs> tobacco. And here are the flowers which make the seeds. Here are the seeds. These are pods. Tobacco pods. They contain seeds in the tobacco. This is the pod where the flower was. Here are the seeds. Very small. Very small seeds. You can grow a lot of tobacco with the seeds from these pods. Tobacco seeds. Tobacco helps all the other plants to help human beings. Hmm. The other plants help human beings. Sage helps human beings. Sweet grass helps human beings. Cedar helps human beings. Many plants help human beings, but the tobacco helps those plants help us. When indigenous people smoked it, usually they did not put the smoke in their lungs. They didn't breathe the smoke into their lungs, usually. Often, they didn't smoke it. Many indigenous people put it on the ground, or they burned it in a shell. This is a shell from the ocean. <clears throat> And they will burn the tobacco inside the shell. Or they will put the tobacco on the ground in a special place to say thank you. The tobacco smoke carries their prayers to God. Indigenous people use tobacco to be safe and for very important things. Native people will lay down tobacco, put it on the ground, early in the morning when the sun is going up. Sometimes they put tobacco on a car to be safe when driving. Yeah. Do you do safe things to be safe when you drive too? Maybe. Native people sometimes give tobacco to say thank you. Sometimes they will give uh, tobacco in a little pouch. This is called a pouch or a tobacco tie. A tobacco tie. 
and give this to someone to say thank you. Or sometimes it's called a tobacco bundle. Tobacco bundle. Tobacco is also burned when native people make a big promise, like a treaty. Tobacco is put in a bed when people get sick. It helps them get better. When native people pick other plants for medicine, they leave some tobacco to say, thank you. Put a pinch, a pinch of tobacco in your hand. Put it where they took the other plant to say thank you. Tobacco is put on the ground beside an animal who has died to help its spirit. Maybe you see an animal who has died, maybe it got hit on the road. You can bring a pinch of tobacco, put it by the animal, and it will help the animal's spirit. Tobacco is also used when people die. It helps with prayers for the dead person. Native people use tobacco for all the most important things. Second, this is sweetgrass. Sweetgrass is the second sacred medicine. Sweetgrass is used in prayer, smudging, and purifying ceremonies. We learn about smudging. It is usually braided, dry, and burned. See, here's a braid. This is a braid. Like in your hair, when you braid your hair, they braid the sweetgrass and they dry it and then they burn it. It is usually burned at the beginning of a prayer ceremony to attract positive energy. Now you can grow sweetgrass too. Let's look at the sacred medicine plants in my garden. Hi students. I thought I would show you uh, some of the plants today, some of the sacred plants in my garden. Yeah. Let's see if we can see some. This is sweetgrass. Sweetgrass. Ceremonial grass used in peace and healing rituals. Vanilla-like scent. Vanilla-like scent. It smells like vanilla. When you eat ice cream, it smells like that. It's very sweet. The box that I've made for it is made of cedar. And I put the sweet grass in a box so that it doesn't get <coughs> stuck in the grass. But this grass, this is white man grass, and it will choke out all the good sweet grass. I don't like this grass, but I really like this grass. I'm protecting it. Look at some water this morning. You can see that it's getting fall season. So the grass is long, but it's starting to slow down. It's starting to get sleepy. And it'll soon be time for the, the grass to go to sleep. So it likes a little bit of water for its roots. I've made the grass the cedar box long because the roots of the grass like to crawl. They like to crawl along the ground. They like to go this way. They don't go deep. They go long this way. And next year, maybe all this sweet grass will fill up this box. And here's where <coughs> I planted some of my tobacco this year. The ceremonial tobacco. Here's a little bit of sage left. See the sage? A little bit of sage there, there, there. And, uh, you can find sage growing all over Calgary. Sage grows everywhere in Calgary in the parks. But if you pick some, you're supposed to put down, sprinkle some tobacco over you. Pick the sage to show respect and say thank you. There are other plants here that are medicinal. 
this one here is called fever food. It's for when you have bad, bad headaches. Some people get bad headaches and it's good for that. This one here, this is flax. Flax. It's a, it's a plant that grows in Alberta too. Native people like flax. Do you see the circle? See the circle in the center? All things in nature have a circle. And this is why native people love the flax as nature. It teaches lessons. The circle is there, the circle of life. Okay, guys. Sorry, plant, for pulling off your flowers. All right. Thank you for showing us and teaching us today. All right. Bye-bye. Third, this is sage. Sage. And this is a sage bundle. Bundle is a bunch together. When you put a bunch of things together, it's called a bundle. Bundle. Sage bundle. Sage is used to get people ready for ceremonies and teachings. Sage helps when people uh, helps people when their minds and hearts are troubled, when your heart or your mind is sad, or worried, or you don't feel good. It takes away negative energy. Native people purify themselves in the smoke from sage. Native people smudge. I smudge every morning. I smudge when I am sad or worried or when I feel glad. He smudged yesterday. Tomorrow she will smudge with her mom. Smudge is a verb. Let's watch the video and they will teach us how to smudge. <laughs> My understanding of the situation is that then I should be using a match or my point creator. Um, I like that this sage with the match. I don't blow on the sage. I clean my hands. I hear myself like I'm washing. I'll smudge my, my knees so that I walk through like the other days. And when you smudge, you want to make sure you think you're not to the So it's more to see good things as to see good things. Good things to hear good things. Your heart to feel good things. I'm saying you don't. You don't feel good When we take the time to smudge the clean air around us, when we take the time to smudge ourselves, we smudge ourselves daily, every morning. If I'm having a, if I'm having any kind of issues, having a difficulties, or I'm not feeling quite centered, I'll take the time to smudge myself. What it does is it allows me to be able to get rid of anything negative that I might pick up, and then it replaces it with that positive energy. We have been given as uh, Indigenous First Nations people medicines to be able to carry us. Those, those are those four main medicines, which is sage, sweet grass, cedar, and of course the first medicine, which is that tobacco. I, myself, will pick my own medicine. Right? And, and uh, or with somebody that, that I trust. Right? Um, when you take the time to go, there's a, there's a preparation that happens with those medicines. 
You don't just go and pick without giving something back. You take the time to take your tobacco. You speak to, to the Creator. You talk to that mess. Uh, that's my that's my understanding on it. And I don't know if uh, if you were in a bad mood in the next or what you were thinking. I'm not going to say that somebody else is uh, only is around me, but this is the way that I was taught, right? And so no, I, I myself uh, wouldn't be going to the store to get it. Sage is purifying. Native people burn it. They purify their hearts and minds in the smoke. They also purify their homes and sacred things with it. Here's some sage that Miss Whiteley, my wife, harvested in our backyard. She hangs it in our house to dry. This is how we hang sage to dry in our house. We put a hook in the ceiling and we hang the sage, let it dry. We hang it. It's nice and dry that way. Fourth, last one, this is cedar. Cedar is sacred to many people in the world. Do you know this flag? That's right, this is the flag from Lebanon. The people of Lebanon, they have a cedar tree right in the middle of the flag. It's very sacred in Lebanon. It's sacred to native people too. When you pick cedar, you should lay down some tobacco to say thank you. I lay down some tobacco. I sprinkle some tobacco. Me. My family, we go to British Columbia and we go to the old growth forest. There are 800 year old cedar trees in the old growth forest. And when we are there, we take a little bit of cedar with us home after we sprinkle some, some uh, tobacco. This is the cedar that we picked when we went hiking in the old growth forest. Cedar. Like sage and sweet grass, cedar is used to purify the home. You can take cedar and purify your home with it. <clears throat> When cedar is put in the fire with tobacco, it crackles. It makes a sound, a crackling sound. When it does this, it is talking to the spirits. It tells them that a prayer or offering is being made. That's it. All of us are related. See you next time.